you are about to see a graphic depiction of a violent prehistoric battle. Viewer discretion is advised. of adult T-Rexes are on the hunt. They must leave their babies unguarded. The juveniles are unaware of approaching danger. Leaving their young is a very risky thing. They understand that there's dangers out there, but they've got to leave the young long enough to go out and hunt for prey. Traveling in search of prey, the adults could be gone for a long period. The adults have left a series of scent marks. They outline boundaries for the juveniles to stay within and for all other dinosaurs to keep out. Most dinosaurs are repelled by this pungent scent and retreat. But one dinosaur in particular uses these scent marks as a homing device. Nanotyrannus actively hunts and kills young Tyrannosauruses. Not to eat, but to get rid of the competition. These two unguarded juveniles are at the mercy of this tyrant killer. A Nanotyrannus knows he's no match for a fully grown T-Rex. He makes sure the adults are gone before he moves in for the kill. Senses on high alert. Two juvenile tyrannosaurs instinctively know that a predator approaches. They're too young to have ever seen a nano tyrannus, but it doesn't matter. They're hardwired to recognize a threat and face it head on. The nano tyrannus doesn't just haphazardly attack. These young tyrannosaurs have a special defensive mechanism, a mouth full of bacteria. The nano tyrannus knows that a nit from a young tyrannosaur could potentially end its life. These are the first animals to use biological weapons. One bite full of that bacteria, and Nano Tyrannus is dead from a massive infection. If the fight doesn't kill him first, he moves in cautiously, using his height advantage to assert his dominance. He leans in, flashing those serrated teeth. Their hissing is a warning. We're not backing down. The fight's on. The Nano Tyrannus hangs back, making mock lunges. It's a luring technique. If he can get them out of the nesting area, they have no hope. But the juveniles instinctively stay in the security of the nesting area. They stand shoulder to shoulder, facing their attacker. Nano Tyrannus circles his rivals, looking for an opportunity. Little Tyrannosaurus leaps forward and snaps his jaws and loses his footing. The Nano grabs the young Tyrannosaurus Rex behind the neck, picks him up and throws him like a ragdoll across the forest floor. Now he's only got one juvenile left. The lone juvenile doesn't stand a chance. The young T-Rex seems panicked. It wants to turn and run, but instincts tell it to stand its ground. It roars as loud as it can. This is basically a cry for help. It hopes that mom and dad are near enough to hear this. The Nano Tyrannus knows that the young T-Rex has just sounded an alarm. He's got to end this battle and he's got to get out of there quick. He leans in and decides to go for a full frontal attack. Nano Tyrannus leans in again, waiting to make his lethal lunge. He's using his experience as a veteran fighter to his best advantage. The T-Rex, a rookie warrior, tries to match his every move. As he moves in for the kill, Nano Tyrannus feels a horrible pain in his left leg. He looks down, and there is the second juvenile T-Rex. He's recovered from his sling across the forest floor, and he's attacking. He's bitten the Nano Tyrannus on the leg, 
and if that wound becomes infected, it could end his life. This time, Nano Tyrannus will make sure that the T-Rex dies. Flexing all the power of his jaws, he clamps down with nearly half a ton of pressure and crushes its spinal cord. He throws it to the ground, and using his foot claw, he stomps the baby. Now it knows that juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex is dead. But there's no time to eat. One T-Rex down, Nano Tyrannus moves in for the final kill. As he leans down to take a bite, he feels the ground begin to vibrate. This telltale sign says there's something big and it's nearby. That something big is the adult female T-Rex returning from her hunt. When she sees what's happened in her absence, all hell will break loose. Driven by her maternal instincts, the female is the first to arrive on the scene. female Tyrannosaurus knows instinctively this is a killer of juvenile Tyrannosaurus rexes. She's got to leap into action. She doesn't have to worry about sizing up this opponent. She's three times bigger. She just needs to kill him. The female T-Rex intends to distract Nano Tyrannus from the lone surviving juvenile. Nano sees her giant jaws and sidesteps with his long legs. But the female has accomplished the most important thing. Get herself between her remaining juvenile and the killer of baby T-Rexes. Now the Nano Tyrannus has two options. Try to finish off the remaining juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex or turn around and run. its speed and agility against the strength of a mad Tyrannosaurus Rex. He tries to flank her. If he can move around quickly enough, she cannot respond. He can go in and with his elongated snout, grab the juvenile, shake it in its mouth, and kill it and flee. But Nano Tyrannus underestimates his opponent. Fueled by raging levels of adrenaline, she spins and turns, avoiding his flanking move. The last thing he sees are the open jaws of the female Tyrannosaurus Rex. She grabs the Nano Tyrannus in her mouth, and using the bite force of a thousand pounds per square inch, she crushes the back, crushes the ribs, and ends the life of this attacker. But killing the Nano isn't enough for the mother T-Rex. She wants to use him as a message to any other Nano Tyrannus that comes into this area. Using her massive foot claws, she rips apart the body of the Nano Tyrannus. Having killed the attacker, she turns her attention to her lone surviving offspring, 